Good morning, everybody. We're taking the Buick out today. It's one of the last track days of the year, and it's supposed to be really good track prep. So hopefully we can go a new personal best in the Buick today. Got it in streetcar mode. Going to head out right now. Had to make a quick stop, grab some ice for the day and some waters. Now we're ready to make some boost. I'm so stoked for today. I hope that we have a really, really good track and we turn this thing up and see what it can really do. Uh, we've been a best of all 130, 60 foot flat, which is nothing for what this car makes power wise. So hopefully we can go mid 120s and deep 120 would be amazing if it's really, really good and we can really pour it to it. And then a deep, deep five and eighth is my goal for the day. I don't know if we'll get to a 490, but hey, ready to go the Buick's ready and hopefully it's windy so if you guys get a lot of wind noise sorry about that today we're doing what we can so pretty much what we're gonna do is leave the same tune up that we're at 8 30 at race week but with a terrible 60 foot hopefully the 60 foot's there we had ran into like a little fuel slosh issue so hopefully everything's good with the car there all right here we go I think the Buick's ready hopefully we get a good lick out of this first one and uh, not spin tires looks like the track's pretty good there's a lot of fast cars here going down through there so hopefully we can do the same there we go first hit see what we can do need a good baseline so hopefully it doesn't spin hopefully we go right down through there we're also going to try the bump for the first time today try to bump in and see what it does the first run that's definitely not happy I don't know what that was fuel <laughs> so it's acting like yeah. it's not like in the wasn't holding it to come up which I know we got the pump on but well, that was a really loud whine is that what you're listening to yeah it's either that or it's the tires but I don't I don't know what that was Coming out from around the 
It's got to be from the axle. But even that wheel over there, we're not going to pull it It's going to go like this. If it's a bent axle or the wheel. I couldn't see. That's why I was looking to see if something was loose. If I look in there, I can see there's something in grease. It's wet. It's dripping off the wheel. Even, so I don't know. I don't know what would... Nothing really that can go wrong, though. Unless something's bent. What would it cause? What's that? Like worst case scenario. Well, the bearings come, but I don't, I don't know why it would the whole thing. Because even whenever you left out there and watched the tire in it, really? it, it's so bad that you can notice it. This side looks all good over here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This side doesn't look at all. I don't feel nothing loose over there. I was trying to shake the car back for us, see if I could see if it was clumped and open. Thank you. No. So. I'll just see what it does. Yeah. Just be aware. Yeah, no, I won't. I don't know, I think we broke something. What did, what it did sounded you? like something snapped. I heard a pop. Oh. As soon as it left, it went pow, and then I just pulled over. Oh, I can try to fire it. Yeah, that this wobbled pretty bad. That's so it did let whatever was going on go. Yeah. We'll just go back. Is it anything? No. I just see a lot of fluid. I'm just trying to so track it down, down, really. I mean, it, I doubt it. Was, I mean, it might not have it killed the car, but or the car died. I just let out. But. I spin it and see if it just. It might drive on one. I don't know. If it broke the axle, then that's what's giving me the wheel moving like that. Wobble like that because it's working the bearing. I wonder if it's already broke before we went. And snap. Well, that might have finished it. Like, I think it might have been like, fractured, busted a little bit. But that would explain. Because really, the, the axle can't come out of the housing because it's got that bolt on the, it can start working its way. It can work its way out. Okay, well, just watch it then so I don't ruin like a rim or something if I'm driving. Because it had a little bit, but now it looks like it's really. I wouldn't have figured it broke an axle, but that's the only thing I could think of it might be. But right. We'll see. I'm so happy you didn't go down the track. <laughs> I'm glad it broke right on the head. We knew better, but I mean, I just want, it came up on the two step, at least we know like, like the tune up it, and all that. It sounded up. really good. Yeah, it sounded good. It made enough power just to finish off whatever was wrong. Yeah, it better broke right there then. Oh yeah, no, which I figured it was already. It had to have been already busted, yeah. 
Dang it. Shoot. Well, at least you're safe, babe. Well, note and personal best. Time to work on the car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Did you break something? What did it break? It's broken. Broke an, axle. an axle? Yes. No way. It went wheel cycle. It was like this down. prior. Yeah. You can hear it conk, conk, conk. Yeah, if I drive a little bit too it's much loaded. It's putting grease out the, <laughs> out the <laughs> hub. It pops. Yeah, yeah, obviously it's got two. I think that's why the brakes yeah. feel weird. It's probably the brake hold in the axle in place. 35s is all. Oh, so that, okay, so it broke the, it sheared off at the hub. Because so I, I bet the brake is holding. Yep, keeping the wheel from falling. James broke an axle. You broke it? It's broke, Jimmy. Is that what that was up there? Was, Apparently it was there? cracked before we went and then I finished it off. All right, our so don't do that. Don't do that. Understood. <laughs> That's scary. I got lucky. I, that, that alone would make me a believer in a floater right there. Just figure the brake's the only thing holding that in. Oh, it ain't a floater? I'm surprised you guys don't have to have floaters for the half mile race or the. There ain't no. So that no, wine. Oh, well, you weren't there at the wine we heard? That's what that was. I bet you it was. it's running. It's it rubbing was, the caliper or something. You'd never hear gears. I mean, and it was crazy. It was me and Greg are laughing thinking it's gears, but it ain't gears. <laughs> Since old Buick's broke, we're actually just hanging out, helping Joey Barry get his license passes in Joe's 56. Car's been sixes at over 210 mile an hour. Uh, and Joey's actually getting his licensing passes in it today. It's pretty cool. I'm also helping them put together a YouTube video for their channel today. So uh, soon we'll be putting up a video on the Joe Barry Motorsports YouTube channel soon. Uh, they're going to get into the whole YouTube game as well. So make sure you guys go over and check out their channel and give them a like and tell them we sent you. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Like it'd probably break the. <laughs> probably break more stuff. Well, the, the wheel would probably come. It, it ended up coming off. The only thing that's really holding it on there is probably the brake caliper. <laughs> I think that's all that's holding it on there. Well, it'll be going home on a trailer today instead of towing a trailer. Dang it! That's unbelievable. Sad day right here. Buick's getting loaded onto a trailer. This thing hasn't been on a trailer since we went to. LS Fest. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. Well, everybody, next morning we've got it unloaded, and I think we got our first breakage on the Buick. So, yep. Pretty sure it broke the uh, axle off probably right at the flange, huh? I think. That's what kind of appears. I've never ever broken axle in my <laughs> career, but. <laughs> we did one something. This is it's definitely got something because we got leak. Yeah, we got a whole sure. bunch of fluid back in there that you guys can see. And then also, uh, the way the brakes are acting is more or less the calipers was holding more or less the wheel on right now, I think. It's just yeah. kind of bouncing and it's wobbling real bad. So get we're going to, uh, yeah, get it. We'll get on some jack stands here in the next few days or whatever, get the wheel pulled off, axle out, probably come out pretty easy and uh, get some new axles coming so we can get this thing, get this thing <laughs> fixed, but. Wouldn't have figured that on some brand new axles. <laughs> well, the thing that sucks is like, yeah, the car's kind of heavy. I mean, 35, 50, but the fastest 60 foot we've went and it's only been a couple was like low 130s. It's not even like we put a crazy 60 foot in this thing yeah. with a ton of power. So to break axles seems kind of ridiculous, but I guess. Yeah, uh, that's why I would never guessed yeah. where that would have been one of my thoughts. We've seen a little bit of oil, which I'm just figuring it's a seal around the bearing. Maybe not a big deal. I did see a wobble in the wheel. Like, eh, maybe I got a bent ram. Yeah, like I'm just, expecting all just the- <laughs> Not an axle to be. Thing and then, then it was real obvious. Well, then it had to have cracked the axle or split it or done something. 
and then we finished it off. So it was like yeah. it was trying to hang in there. So it'll be interesting once we get this thing pulled apart. If you guys want to see it pulled apart and see yeah. what the heck we got so going on. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Stay tuned for the next video, and we'll see you guys later.